What's up everybody, Dan the Panda Man here, and I'm talking about the Falcon MD-20 today. Now, the Falcon MD-20, I've had this thing for quite a few years now. Plenty of time to test it, really good idea for what I like and don't like about it. Your average metal detector varies between 5 kilohertz and 40 kilohertz, depending on what you're going for. If you're shooting coins, you're probably going to be in the lower range, and if you're shooting more for gold nuggets and smaller targets, you're going to want the higher range. Now, this doesn't even operate in that. This operates at 300 kilohertz. Wow. 300 kilohertz. How small of gold are you trying to find? Well, when you get it, the Falcons actually have this little card that comes with it. Now, this here, right in the center, is a little teeny piece of gold. Most of us here in Utah know exactly what that is. Nugget. Now, enough of the technicals. Let's actually get in and see how it operates. So, good rule of thumb, your auto ground balance, you want to have it to right about the one o'clock. Once you get that adjusted to the one o'clock, we'll turn on our main power. And you want to bring this up till it starts making the noise. Some people like to have that nice threshold sound to it, but I like to back it down just a little bit because I don't like to have the threshold noise. It kind of bothers me. But now, like I was showing you before, this little teeny piece of gold, how this works is when you go towards a ferrous metal such as gold or silver, things like that, then it'll sound off. Now, this black sand, when you go towards it, it doesn't sound off. Now, when you go away from it, it makes a sound. So you go to it, nothing. Away from it, sound. You go to it, it makes a sound going to it, but not away. The pie right now, go to it, nothing. Go away from it, nothing. Say you're using it for coin shooting, and you you dig your hole and you start filling around in your hole to find out where your coin is. It's not on this side of the hole, not on that side of the hole. Oh, there it is, it's on that side. That for testing rock. Let's say you have this nice piece of rock right here. Now this one's got some shine to it. Is that gold in it? Well, we'll find out. Let's see, go to it. Didn't hear anything going to it. Going away from it. So this is more than likely just iron. And I would say that's true because of where I got it. Now, this piece of rock right here, this one, this one looks a little bit different. So, this is a piece of ore out of the mine. Now, let's just test it here. Went to it and it made a sound. But it didn't make it when I went away. Nothing going away. So there's something in here. There's people that I know that have actually just thrown a shovel full of dirt in their pan, shook a bit, and then started just probing at the bottom of their pan to see if there's any gold in it. And if not, they'd toss it, put it in another scoop, go again, and they just would dump it into a bucket if it had, if it sounded off, and if it didn't, they just tossed it inside. You can move a lot of material just doing that because you're not going through and actually panning out the whole pan. You're just settling the gold to the bottom, checking, and if it's got something, save it for later. <laughs> well guys, that's the Falcon MD-20. What a great little machine. Tech the fine gold, being able to look in your host rock, being able to pinpoint for coin shooting. I mean, this is just a versatile little machine. Anyways, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what your thoughts are of this little detector. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Um, yeah, if you have any other equipment or anything you want to see, let me know. I mean, I'm a wealth of information. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you find the gold. Anyways, have a good one, and we will see you in the next video.